Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I clean my makeup brushes. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So this is how the condition of my brushes currently look like. They are quite dirty as you guys can see. I'm going to show you how to clean them. It is super simple. So let's begin. Okay, the first thing we need is a makeup brush cleaner. This is a silicone makeup brush cleaner. These are available everywhere online. I purchased it on AliExpress a year ago. It's very cheap. It's just a dollar or two, I guess. I don't remember the exact price, but I will leave the link if I can find it in the description box below. So you guys can check it. And then we need a liquid hand wash soap. I use Lifebuoy. You can use any liquid soap that you like. I find this very effective, so I use it. And then a conditioner to condition the bristles. It's just like your own hair. They do get rough and dry over time. I use it every single time so that the bristles are not harsh and pokey on my skin. I'm using a bowl of water just for the sake of filming, but you guys can run the brushes through the sink. Take a little pump of liquid soap and then swirl it all around. This is the powder brush, so you'll not be able to see the dirt coming off. But you will see it while I'm cleaning the concealer and eyeshadow brushes later. And finally, run the brushes under running water until they are clean and there is no soapy residue left. Make sure the water is not getting into the handles because that will loosen up the glue and spoil the brushes. I used to use my palm to clean the brushes but since this one has a lot of texture it is going to deep clean the brushes while removing all the makeup that is accumulated. Alright, once I'm done with cleaning, I use the conditioner and leave it on for a good 2-3 to three minutes. I like it this way but you can mix both the liquid soap and the conditioner together and clean them. Also, I don't use waterproof makeup but if you use it, add a little bit of coconut oil or any oil that you prefer into the mixture. And finally, I take a soft towel and press the bristles gently to remove all the excess water. This way the brushes dry so quickly. And then I would like to fold the towel like this and let them dry so that any leftover water will drip down. I'm gonna leave them overnight and let them dry completely so that they are ready to use again. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Until then take care. Bye bye.